And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. And on the mound now, Jim Palmer. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. All right, ready to get underway. Leading off, Paul Molitor. The pitch. And now it's even up. Playing two balls, two strikes. Why to kick the pitch? Ripped, but it curls foul. The wind in the pitch. Back to the mound. On to Murray. One up, one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And two away now. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Meyer. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Jays, Matt Meyer. That one lifted to left, Hayes. Has this one sized up? And that's the third out. J Zero O's coming to back. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the first and towing the slab, Alec Manoa. Well, this guy was pretty fantastic last season, only losing two games the entire year. Just incredible. I mean, you would think that, you know, even when you pitch well, and you stay healthy over the course of a season, you're going to lose more games than that. But for whatever reasons, whether it was during his time on the mound or once he left the ball game, the team was able to rally. They were able to avoid the loss. And when you got a pitcher like that on your team, you feel like every time he takes the mound, you're going to win the ball game. So we'll see if that's the feel that his club has this season. And he deals. And that one ripped into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, Get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out. Mess up his timing. Somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And here's the first baseman, Eddie Murray. Eddie. Murray. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. 
And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Scoreless after one. Back now at Oriole Park. Stepping in, Carlos Delgado. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And a pitch. And that skips in the dirt. And a payoff pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mullins racing over to make the catch. That is it. The right fielder, number 15, Sean Green. Sean Green next up for the Blue Jays. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. One down, base is empty. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd. His first homer of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed, Boog. Just absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and that carried way over the wall. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Up the middle. On to Murray. Ah. And Guerrero is set down. Batting seven. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. And the batter is George Springer. Two down, nobody on. Got him. That's out number three. Jays open it up with a solo homer. It's now 1-0. Back here in Baltimore, bottom of the second. Now it's going to be Cal Ripton Jr. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. The pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. And one gone. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same good. side thrower the as the hitter. Baseman. I mean, that's just Whoa. tough. You're looking to protect with two oh, strikes and sense. very difficult to lay off. And into the box for Baltimore, Brooks Robinson. Next pitch misses, two and one. That misses the zone. And that's ball three. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. 
And Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Whips it to first. Robinson retired. Batting six. The designated hitter. Ryan. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Two outs. And a ball, ball evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two stays alive. In the air, right side. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They trail here, one nothing. On to the third inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Joe Carter. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Payoff pitch. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Righty delivers. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. One out. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Bo Bichette up to the dish. One and two here. And a ground ball to first. And a base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Now batting. Paul Molitor now at the plate. Ball. Grounded out his first time up. Bichette going, goes. Going. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. And a pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Robinson throws the first in time. And he's out. Now batting, second baseman, Santiago Espinal. So up next, Santiago Espinal. And a pitch. To the right side. He'll do it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Blue Jays one and the Orioles nothing. 
Except for the bottom of the third. And into the box for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. Next offering is foul back. Pitch misses inside. Now two and two. Riding to the plate. That one pushed foul. Stays alive. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air to left center, Carter gliding in towards the infield. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Two away. Batting ninth, the catcher, Adley. Here's Adley Rutschman. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Kicks and fires. On the ground, out to short. Gets it to first. Oh. Inning over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt Meyer. The 1 1. Fought off foul. The pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He'll circle the bases, his second of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 2 nothing. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So up next for Toronto, Carlos Delgado. That one misses in the dirt. Two and one now. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Oh. 
Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Rutschman on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. The right fielder, number 15, Sean Green. Sean Green next up for the Blue Jays. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now batting. The designated hitter. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Green over at first with one away. Next oh. offering is way upstairs. Well, Siggy here in Baltimore and uh, crab cakes. We need to get our hands on some crab cakes. You think we'll get someone to maybe run down for us and, and grab a few? Absolutely. It's got to happen. Maryland crab cakes, the best. And you talk about the seasoning. Nobody does it better than the people here in the city of Baltimore. But even so, here at the ballpark, some great food. Another move to first. And yeah, they're keeping him close. Yeah, and I'm kind of partial to my guy Boog down there over that right field wall and uh, some barbecue because Boog can fire up some pretty good barbecue. Yeah, and I'm surprised we haven't seen any of that yet up here in the booth. Come on, man. Let's go. Here's a 2-1. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Out towards left center. Mullins moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Up next for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, George Springer. Here's George Springer. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Now, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. And it's fouled away. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Toronto extends the lead on the solo shot. And it's two zip. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Ryan Roberts. And a pitch. And oh. another ball. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Ball. 
just misses the mark outside the zone. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Almost a coin flip for the umpire in that call, but most umpires just don't want to give pitchers a break up in the zone like that. And now it's Austin Hayes. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a 1-1. And now 2-1 and one after that missed inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two balls, two the Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. Pickoff move to first. Back in their standing. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. And here it comes. Lined into right. Dives and he can't hang on. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Eddie Murray, the next to hit for the Orioles. His first at bat was a strikeout. Next offering is foul back. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Next pitch has popped up. Now batting. The shortstop. Digging in, Cal Ripken Jr. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The 1 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Roberts on second. Hayes at first. One gone. Got him. And there's two away. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. So first and second with two outs. And next for the Orioles, Brooks Robinson. The pitch. Chop to the left side. Fires over to first. Robinson retired. That's the third out. Inning over. Orioles strand a couple. And they're down 2 nothing. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Joe Carter. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Next one misses. Two and two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out. And that completes the strikeout. 
the bat under the left. Short stop. Bo Bichette. So digging in, Bo Bichette. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play, and I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. 2-1. The pitch. Two. Stays alive. The two two. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Two two now. Bounce to the right. Roberts gloves it, gathers, and throws to first. And that will end the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. Blue Jays two, and the Orioles nothing. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Ryan Mountcastle. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Two two. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. This one lifted in the air, left field. Carter makes the grab, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front up shoulder coming board. open instead of staying right closed. Here. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. He's 0 for 1. Three balls, two strikes the count. Fouled off again, and it remains 3 and 2. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass. And uh, obviously, he's not a big strikeout guy. But he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. And that'll get down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, Only two board. hits allowed so far tonight, no, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Righty delivers, and the tying run is on base. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, one out. At the play, Adley Rutschman. And that one wrapped foul.
Two on, one out. And the one two misses to even the count. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Right hander kicks deals. Stays alive. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The next offering misses. And the count's full. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Here's a speed threat. Ryan Roberts. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Coming home. Springer fires it to the plate. Slide save. And it's a one-run game. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. And he's already singled in this game. Back to work. 3-2 now. Hard hit to third. The throw to first. Inning ends. And that stops the bleeding. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. All set for the top of the sixth. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. And the right-hander deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The wind of the pitch. Tap back to the mound. Throws to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the six. Now batting. The catcher. Matt Meyer. Here's a big power threat. Matt Meyer with five extra base hits already in the series. And this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him to deliver offense. He's the first guy at the ballpark. He's got to study opposing hitters. He's got to get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting in the cage to take his swings. That's a whole lot and so many times goes unnoticed. The one two ground ball up the middle tosses to first Out. two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting the first baseman Carlos Delgado two outs base is empty now the Toronto four hole hitter Carlos Delgado. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a one two. Up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. And that extends the inning. Right field, right field. 
So two down now, and here is Sean Green. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. One and two now. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Heart of the order. Three, four, five. Coming up. Blue Jays two and the Orioles one. Back here in Baltimore, bottom of the six. Stepping in the long ball threat, Eddie Murray. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The punch out there and one out now. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Now batting, shortstop, Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr., the next to hit for the Orioles. 3-2. Bounced up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. The third baseman, number five. Brooks Robinson. So next to hit for Baltimore, Brooks Robinson. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. It's softly on the ground, left side. Throw to first is in time. Robinson retired. And that is the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down two to one. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, Next dude. offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Number 49 appears to be getting loose. Number 45 getting cranked up as well. Righty to the plate. Line drive, base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That's a nice job of taking that pitch on the outside the other way and just beat the shift. And this guy's not known for using the whole field, but right there, he took what was given to him. Next offering is foul back. Nobody out. Runner at first. Yeah. 
And a ball and two strikes. Grounder might be two. There's one. How about that double play? Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Joe Carter. Next pitch misses way outside. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The bat, number 11. Bobachette gets a chance to hit. Bobichette. Throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. And a count one and two. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Carter off of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for Toronto. They lead it 2 1. Jimmy Garcia will take over here, trying to protect this lead. Number 93, Jimmy. Back now at Oriole Park, set for the last half of the seventh. Now here's the Orioles' DH, Ryan Mountcastle. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Here's a 1 1. And downstairs, Toronto's bullpen with some action. Jordan Romano up and throwing. Simber getting loose as well. In the air out to center, and that is Springer. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Anthony Santander at the plate. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. Anthony Santander knocks one out, and we're level. It's 2-2. Two -two. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. One out, base is empty. Cedric Mullins getting ready to hit. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. 
Foul ball. Two two now. Popped up right side. Espinal sizing this one up. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Now that the catcher. Adley. Rutschman. Now the catcher up to hit. Adley Rutschman. Here's a 1 1. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. Espinal handles the chance to first. And that is that. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 49. Number 49. Welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Paul Molitor. The 1 1. Swing and a ball popped up. Stretches out and holds it in. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. And a pitch. Fly ball to right. Santander under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two away down. Up next for the Blue Jays. The catcher. Matt. And next for Toronto, Matt Meyer. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. And the pitch. There's a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Austin Boat getting loose out there. Next pitch has popped up. Roberts under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, and this game is still tied at two and two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tim Mesa. Number 58. Tim Mesa. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And now here is Ryan Roberts. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Here comes a pitch. And now the count is even. Next pitch has popped up. Delgado pulls it down. One up, one down. Now batting left fielder, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. And here it comes. 
in the air right field. Green gets under it, and he makes the catch. And there are two down. The first baseman, number 33, Eddie Murray. And into the box for Baltimore, Eddie Murray. The switch hitter batting right. One one now. now. You get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Bounced out to short. Sends it across the first. Murray retired. And the inning is over. Orioles held in check there. Score remains 2-2. Coming out for the Orioles, Keegan Aiken. Now pitching for the Orioles, number 45, Keegan Aiken. All set for the start of the inning. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Carlos Delgado. Next pitch has popped up. Robinson puts it away, one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Sean Green next up for the Blue Jays. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. Movement in the Orioles bullpen. Austin Vogt getting ready to go. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball. Popped in the air, left side. And that one gets down, fair ball. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Just squibbed it the other way and beat the shift. I'm not sure that's exactly what he was trying to do, but it'll work almost every time with the defense shifted to the pull side. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Go ahead, run on base. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Makes the grab. Two down. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Man at second. That one fouled off, two and two. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. And here's a slow roller. To first, that takes care of Springer. That's the third out. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. We are tied 2-2. Two, two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Trevor Richards. Back here in Baltimore, bottom of the ninth. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Cal Ripton Jr. Next offering misses. 
And it's two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Green. Try to get to it. Pulls it in. One away. Now batting. Third baseman. Look. Now the third baseman, Brooks Robinson. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Ground ball, left side. The throw to first. Out. And a couple of quick outs. Now battle. The designated hitter. Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. So a foul ball makes it one and two. At the belt and fires. And now it's even up. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jordan Romano up and loosening in the pen. Hanky warming up as well. The pitch. That one misses. Three and two now. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And a 3-2. And fouled off. Here comes a 3-2. Swing and a ball popped up. Squeezes it. And the inning is over. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Back here at the ballpark, on to extra innings. And now for the Jays, Joe Carter. The pitch. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Austin Vogt preparing to come on if needed. Baker getting cranked up as well. And now it's one and two. And that's outside. Two, two down. Popped up foul territory behind the play. And that's a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. Down is full. Three, two. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So, not a terrible result. First and second, no outs. And now the shortstop, Bobashet. Offering his foul back. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
And now the lefty on the ground, two ball. Roberts over to second on the first double play. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Here's the third baseman, Paul Molitor. Next offering is in for a strike. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. This one high in the air to left center. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. Blue Jays held in check. And this game is still tied at two and two. Orioles making a move for a pinch hitter. Trey Mancini. Big spot for him here. Trey. the count two and one and there's the strike got him looking and that's the first out I don't know what he's looking for right there you have to be ready to swing the bat you can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive So a change being made out at second and pinch running for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. One away, and the game-winning run stands at second. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Now, Adley Rutschman. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The winning run on second base. And delivers outside. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a ball popped up. Base hit left field. Around third. The winning run crosses the plate and the Orioles walk it off in extra innings. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. final score in this one a one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Orioles, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Blue Jays, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Yeah, yeah.